Can you believe it's October? Bye! I haven't done these in a while. Oh, yeah. Is that a Steinway B? Yes. Why don't you use a metronome? I do use a metronome once in a while. Sometimes it's helpful, but most of the times I don't use it because I don't need the mark of a straight line when I walk after knowing how to walk for 19 years. Do you think you're a perfectionist? I think when it comes to music, probably. Everything else? Were there people who doubt it too could pursue classical career, professor, teacher, parents? Yeah, there were definitely people who doubted me and still some do, but I'm lucky to have people who believe in me and to have all of your support. What would you like to do if you had a year off from performing? I think right now because I am at that stage where I want to perform and not the opposite, I would go crazy. Maybe in 10 years, I would like to take a break assuming that my career takes off and I concertize a lot but probably travel somewhere maybe live in the woods <laughs> How do you manage to play so piano or soft? Can you give me any advice? If you can do this on a carpet, on a blanket you can pet a hamster, a cat, a puppy you can play soft What is your relationship with Chopin etudes and which of them do you enjoy playing the most? I haven't really touched Chopin etudes in some years I think my favorite maybe the F major, opus 10 number 8 I don't really have much opinions about them at the moment I'm very disconnected <laughs> from Chopin etudes what music genres and songs in particular do you like to listen to besides classical music, aka pop, jazz, rap, etc? I listen to random songs or music recommended by some of my friends. I don't really actively listen to pop, but sometimes I will put on a jazz album. Like Miles Davis' uh, Kind of Blue. Do you have a support system to keep your mental strong during tough times? I have the bare minimum. I think, <laughs> but I'm grateful. How to choose a piece that is suitable for your own level. Levels don't exist. Listen to your heart, listen to music, pick from listening and also listen to your hands on how they feel. Was there a moment in your life where you had trouble finding motivation to keep playing, studying, practicing piano? They come in waves. Eventually I find my way back. It definitely has been a little bit more difficult because there are not much concerts to look forward to. To perform but sight reading random pieces eventually gets me back and I discover new pieces to play and then it's all fine again but answer to your question is yes congrats on 300k how do you release tension while you play how do you keep your playing light yet powerful to the latter question I'm still working on it the first question it's all in your head what do you do if you drill a technique and just can't play something? Sight read something for fun and do something else. Which book do you recommend me to read about Robert Schumann? I highly recommend reading his own writings, what Schumann wrote about music. So there's a collection from his journal because he was a music critic as well. There's the collection of early letters edited by Clara. I will link them down below. Was there a peak bottom period of your journey in music that made you almost quit pursuing music slash times that damaged you mentally or physically? Yes, but I don't really know what is the peak bottom and I hope that 
I won't really experience it. I mean, nowadays I kind of go in waves, but I'm not really ready to talk about it until probably 10, 20, 30 years from now. <laughs> How you managed your time learning philosophy, music, and making YouTube videos at the same time? Do you have any advice for me on how to handle both my secular subjects in college as well as make time for my instrument while living alone? Really want to experience a real breakthrough in my passion for music this year. I hope you do too. I just knew what I was doing every single hour of the day, <laughs> which sounds kind of extreme, but it worked, I guess. The year is 1850 and you have the ability to tell both Roberts and Clara Schumann one thing, what would you say? Thank you. Or villain dunk. Or whatever back then in the 19th century, the most sincere way of saying thank you. What do you do to distress when your practice isn't going your way? I don't really get stressed. Sometimes I get maybe a little bit disappointed. So then I just end my day early, think about next day and what I can do. Try to go to bed early so that I can wake up earlier and have a fresh start in the next day. Do you think it is important to have more than one teacher so you can get to experience different approaches for interpreting music? Yes, it's like doing a research project. You can't really get by with just ever using one source, right? Even in your school papers. How do you do to practice through several hours straight? having a bad time to organize my studies and study the time that I need to. I don't ever really practice several hours straight. I think it's just more about knowing what you want to achieve that day instead of focusing on the hours. What was your most difficult audition or performance? How did it turn out? Did you have performance anxiety and how did you deal with it? I guess I, I thought about this question. I don't really know. I guess maybe the first recital at Juilliard, which is my first solo recital around an hour, I guess, when I was 10 and i've never had everyone focus on me and the music the stage for such a long period of time i did have that kind of out of body experience like oh my gosh what's going on everyone's attention's on me and uh that kind of feeling but i wouldn't really call it a performance anxiety there are moments when i freak out for a second about some things but i think i just enjoy playing the music no matter what's happening or if something goes wrong so it's all fine at the end <laughs> and I hope it will be smooth going forward. Are you ever scared of the piano collapsing on you? What's your main source of income is a concert pianist during the pandemic? Patreon. And so thank you to the 600 or so of patrons on my Patreon if you're interested in supporting me, especially during this time and also want to see more videos and exclusive content, I'll put the link somewhere around this box. Are you from a music family? No. Do you think that playing virtuosic and really hard pieces in young ages, even though you don't understand the music, is helpful or pointless? I got a lot of backlash for doing exactly that when I was young, but I think it's also really important to try out and experience things that you're not necessarily capable of fully because you have to start somewhere. And I think when you're young, you should be absorbing as much as you can. And that's what I did. And now that I've gotten older, I go back into that huge vault of pieces that I have learned back then and I really dive deeper. I would say it's helpful, not pointless. How would you as a former piano student describe a good piano teacher? Someone who really, really cares about music, loves music, and is there to teach because they want you to play well and nothing else. What is going through your mind when you're one month away from a concert? Whether I have the stamina, to play it and I should probably run through the program a few times. Do you still take lessons with teachers regularly slash on occasion? No, I don't have a teacher. How do you feel knowing that 300,000 people know you and follow you? I don't really feel it until I see you in my concerts. So I just think it's a very abstract idea. Of course, I'm grateful and I, it's a weird feeling. But I just hope that everyone is here because you are interested and love classical music as well. And I don't really otherwise think of it as like the center of attention way. What are your next career goals? Play more concerts, make albums, and play more concerts. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to see some of you in my upcoming concert. I look forward to that very, very much. <laughs> Thanks for your questions. Mm -hmm.